Hi, welcome. This is our weekly reading for September 9th through the 15th, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing, so see what feels right for you. It could be one sign that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions that are based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody involved in the situation and so on. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. Remember how you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you in the end. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for the wave? Crashing into the wave? Diving into the wave? Ignoring that wave? Get the gist. Um, feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And I also want to mention I'm very excited about this week's readings. Um, I got a bunch of new uh, decks, oracle cards and tarot decks. And let me show you what they are. The Thalemia Tarot. Um, by Renetta Lecher, the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed the Life Purpose Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer, and the Karma Cards by Monty Faber, and actually the entire reason I went to the store was to replace my Native American tarot because I was missing four cards and I was really called to use this deck this week. So this is by Magda Rec Gonzalez and J.A. Gonzalez and Sun, Moon, Rising and Inquiring for the 9th through the 15th of September 2016. I'm going to start with the Life Purpose Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, and let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our Higher Self, Angels, and Energies of Love have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Firing, for the highest and greatest good of all for the 9th through the 15th of September 2016. One card for focus and clarity into the week for Leo. So, like, getting into the books, getting into the books, getting down into the books, starting to read, starting to write, starting to research. I feel like there's a lot of research here and interest. Like, you're researching something you're really interested in, Leo. Perhaps you're going to do something. Um, maybe you're going to write. I feel like writing is involved, even though it, she's reading. So... You connect your life purpose through your involvement with books. I feel like books are important for you, Leo. Like actual books beyond, um, maybe they're, like I was going to, I was actually going to say beyond like books online or books on your phone or like video books, but maybe that's actually what it is. Maybe it's, it has something to do with taking um, physical books and putting them onto video or putting them onto something something digital or some kind of app. Perhaps you're the one doing the research, um, putting something together and maybe combining the two, some connection with physical books and virtual books. But I feel like for a lot of you, Leos, um, it comes back to actual books, like actual books. Um, I hear like the Alexandria Library, so maybe some of you actually had a connection, you know, with that, or feel a connection with that, um, burning books kind of thing, maybe that's a sensitive subject, uh, like there's something that you feel like you're protecting, um, you know, when something's down, when I feel like, you know, if a solar flare comes and as wonderful as all the electronical stuff is, um, if that goes down, you know, I'm very happy to have all my books, my physical books. So maybe you're actually doing something with physical books. Um, 
Uh, let's get more clarity. I'm going to move to the Thelema Tarot. And let's pull a card for Leo. And see what's going on for the week. Get more clarity on books. Um, life purpose. I feel like you're transferring something. Like uh, information from one place to another. Whatever, whatever that is for you. Leo, there's so many different stories and different formats that that could go to. Vincenzo, are you doing my hair? All right, one card for Leo. And the High Priestess. So, I feel like it's knowledge. Perhaps it has to do with something that's like deep knowledge. Something that you have. Perhaps it has to do with like... Um, I want to say like ancient books, Leo, perhaps you're actually really good at language and you can actually um, like translate languages and I never really got that with the High Priestess before. This is a beautiful card. I feel like there's something, um, it's like she's walking firm and yet she's floating off of the ground at the same time. She's holding the pomegranate. She's connected to the moon. Um, you're walking through that doorway, Leo. It's like you're taking that chance. You're um, maybe stepping in front of the veil, stepping in front of the curtain. I feel like for some of you, you're actually actors or actresses and musicians. Um, something where you're actually in front of the curtain, maybe a comedian. Um, something on YouTube, something with videos, um, maybe like a host or like a, like a host where you're presenting something, you're presenting something unusual. Maybe you have, you know, some documents, some books, um, that you're really interested in. Maybe it's time to really read something important you have lying around or you've meant to get to or you've been learning for a while, Leo. I feel like this high priestess is definitely you, Leo. Male or female, I feel like it's that deep knowing that you have, that you have to do something, move with something, pursue something, start something, allow something to happen, allow something to change, allow yourself to walk through those two pillars, that doorway, that gateway, that um, opportunity. Um, I see like the curtain coming up and the show beginning for you, Libra. So maybe you're getting to work. Um, you're preparing a show. Um, I feel like you've been writing something. This sounds weird. Like in your nightgown, in your PJs, in your underwear, <laughs> like, like at night. Like there's been something that's you've been thinking about or you get ideas at night right before you fall asleep. Um, or perhaps you're going to get those ideas this week. Pay attention to that, Leo. Um, I would say write them down so you don't forget them. I feel like there's something um, beautifully wise that you're going to think of or come up with or translate or put together or work with or do something important. But I feel like it's important to you first. And because it's important to you, it's therefore important to us. But it starts with you, Leo. I'm going to go to the Native American Tarot and let's pull another card for Leo and see what's going on with the High Priestess, with books, hidden knowledge, uh, maybe secrets, maybe you find out some secrets and um, it's something you can share, like some kind of something that's special that shouldn't be a secret. I feel like it shouldn't be a secret and you can help it come out. Something like that. Um, something that's beneficial for everybody that wasn't known or you discover or you figure out, Leo. I feel like you are the important factor in this scenario this week. Um, I feel like it's up to you to walk through whatever that is, to hold it in your hand, to feel it in your gut. Um, uh, to pursue it. Smoke signals. So, smoke signals, this is like 
lots of information. Um, I feel like you see it, you're heading towards it, or others will see it after you, you know, put out, put up that fire, you know, put the smoke signals out. It's like you put up the fire and you walk away and let it go and the volcano erupts. You know, everybody can see it then. It's out there. It's beneficial. It's big. It's, um, I feel like it's, it's something really, all right, eight of swiftness. It's the eight of rods, the eight of fire. It's a lot of information moving towards someone or from someone. So I feel like perhaps, I feel like the information is in your head at first. Like it's a lot of ideas, um, a lot of inspiration, a lot of ideas. I need, I feel like you need to write it down. It's important to either like, you know, like talk it into your phone so you don't forget it. But I feel like physically writing it down is important. Um, and I see you like actually making notes in a book, like underlining things and highlighting things and putting things on the side of your book. Like you don't even care. You're just writing it in the book. Um, it brings things around again. It's an eight. It makes me think of karma. It makes me think of power. It makes me think of strength. Um, gaining your strength back. All right. I'm going to go to the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed And let's get a card for Leo for more clarity on the week. Um, one card for clarity on smoke signals, books, the High Priestess, the Eight of Rods. Uh, one card for Leo. And that's Moonlight. All right, so I feel like this brings us back to this. It's intuition. It's using that that sense inside of you that like I feel like gut feelings, Leo. That like in your gut feeling that you just know something. It's a 51. So that brings you to a six and it brings you back to I feel like love. Love and balance with a six. Perhaps a decision. Perhaps it's like a threefold decision. You just have to like um rely on instincts, rely on um, things coming to the light, relying on cycles, relying on learning about cycles, perhaps astrology, Leo, learning about cycles, something with a lot of ancient wisdom behind it. And then I see that her, like, I feel like she's a, um, like a dragonfly, like transformation. Um, like you're transforming in the moonlight, you're transforming your inner light. Um, some kind of reflect, like wise reflections. It's wise reflections. Perhaps you gain this reflection at night. I feel like the night is important, Leo. Like it comes to you at night. Um, inspiration is there. Perhaps you always fall asleep and you forget it. Or for, perhaps it's when you wake up even and you dream about it. I feel like you have to write something down. Um, look at this card. Um, I just hear like moonlight you know um i'm gonna go to the um this is the earth magic oracle card by so hold on i made half of them go the wrong way leo um, by stephen um d farmer let me do a better job at shuffling and Let's get one more card for Leo for clarity into the week and see uh, what's going on to sum this reading up for Leo. DNA, so karma, that brings me back to like, the, I always think of karma for some reason when I see an eight, like infinity. So. I also think of like kundalini here, energy, balancing masculine and feminine, perhaps. <laughs> Genzo's getting, you're getting interested in my, in my dress. I feel like there's balance here, perhaps healing past situations, um, like past scenarios with your family, even Leo. I feel like you're tapping into something deeper though. I feel like this is a deep connection to the past, to something ancient. I feel like you're bringing the past to the future, to the now. 
I hope this was helpful. I'll see you soon. I love you guys.